Hello everyone, in this lesson we're going to carry on practicing the codes. So in this one we're going to create a four character code where the first two characters must be the numbers 0 to 9. Please remember or just take note, I've noticed students they misread this part. When it says 0 to 9 that means there are 10 options, right? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up to 9. That is 10 different options, not 9. Then the second two characters must be any of the letters between A to Z. They say that numbers may not be repeated, but letters can be repeated. Okay, so that's going to affect us. Now we have, and then they say how many combinations are possible. So that will be our choices. So for the first one, it has to be a number. Okay, and they are, for the first one, there would be 10 numbers available. That doesn't mean we choose the number 10. That wouldn't even be possible because we are only choosing from the number 0 to 9. So let's give an example of what we might have chosen. Let's say we chose a 7. But they tell us that numbers may not be repeated. So for the next one, there are 9 options available. So we would have to choose a number like a 6, for example. We wouldn't be able to choose another 7. Now we're getting to the letters. Now letters can be repeated. For the first letter, there would be 26 available. And let's say we chose an A. And for the next one, there's still going to be 26. Why? Because repetition of the letters is allowed. Okay, and let's say we chose another A, for example. So this is one of the codes we could have made. How many could we have made in total? Well, that's where this part comes into it. So we multiply those together, and that gives us 60,840. So those are the total number of combinations that you could have made using the above specifications. So here's the same question, but I've added on a few extra limitations. So the limitations we've added on was that the code must start with a 2 and the code must end with a B. So here this will be our choices. I nearly wrote code over there and then this will be our code. Remember I keep saying this, but this part is not necessary in the exams. It's just my way of adding a bit more to the lessons and so you can see what's happening exactly. So they say the code must start with a 2. So do we put a 2 over there? No. The 2 goes there. That's what the code would look like. But how many choices do you have? Well, if you have the numbers 1 to 9 and you have to start with a 2, well, there's only one of those. So you have one choice, okay? For the next number, they say that numbers may not be repeated. So we've used that one. So there's 8 Oh no, there's, sorry, we're also using the number zero. So there are now nine options available, right? So that goes there. Then we're getting to the letters. So for the first one, there would be 26 letters available. Oh, I forgot to write something here. So let's say we chose an eight for the next one. And then the letter we chose was an A. Now they tell us that the code must end with a B. So if you had all the letters A, B, C, D, E, all the way to Z, then how many Bs are there? Well, there's only one. And so we'd put a one over there. So your code would look like that, 28 A, B. But how many of those could you have made? Well, that's where you multiply these together. And so that's going to give us a total of 234. So there are 234 different options. So here's a slightly similar one, but they've added something at the end. So here repetition is allowed. And then they also tell us that the first two characters must be numbers. The second two characters must be letters. Repetition is allowed. So that means numbers and letters. But they say how many combinations will have at least one five? So a code such as 55AA, that has at least one five. Code like 35AB, that has at least one five. A code like 44AB, that has no fives. A code like 54AZ, that has one five. So there's many combinations that have a five. So how do we do this? What we do, whenever you see the word at least, then you do something like this. You work out how many combinations are possible without this part of here. So let's just see how many combinations are possible with no restrictions, okay? So for the numbers, well, we know that the repetition is allowed. So for the first one, we have 10 numbers to choose from because we're starting at 0 and not 1. For the second one, we also have 10 numbers to choose from. For the letters, we have 26 for the first one. And because repetition is allowed, we have 26 for the second one. And so if we had to go work that all out, that would give us 67,600 options. 
Now, okay, so that's total, like total, total, total with no restrictions at all. Now what we do is we restrict it so that there can be no fives. So no fives at all, okay? So if there are no fives available, then it's going to look like this. Notice there are no fives. So how many options do we have for the first one? Well, there's going to be nine options available. Repetition is allowed, so there will be nine options for the second one, but the letters are going to stay the same. And that's going to give us 54,756. So let's see if you can get this. This number here is the total number of numbers that or codes that you could make with fives being allowed. Um, there's no restrictions. Then this over here is the total number of numbers that can be made if there are no fives allowed. So then if you had to minus these two from each other, then that number, which is... 12,844, that's how many numbers, or how, that's how many codes will have at least one five. So once again, this is the total number of codes that you could make. This is the number of codes that don't have any fives. So then if you minus them, well that would be the number that, that would be the number of codes that have at least one five. Some of them will have two fives, but they have at least one five.